This is huge for the ALS community because we've gone 22 years with, with nothing new. For the first time in more than 20 years, a new drug to treat ALS is now available in the United States. The drug was approved by the FDA and has proved to be effective for ALS patients. CBS 13 Sharin Roger is getting answers for us tonight in the newsroom about how this can change lives. Sharin. Sam and Adrian, every 90 minutes a new patient is diagnosed with ALS and someone dies from the disease. But now, those who are diagnosed with ALS won't have to hear there's nothing we can do. This drug is a total game changer. I'm really excited that there's some hope. A powerful wave of hope moving through the ALS community. I told my doctors I want to be the guinea pig. I, I want to go. Now, 64-year-old Diane Freeman of Sacramento is a mother of two and a retired fourth grade teacher who was diagnosed with ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, just one year ago. Her arms and legs getting weaker and weaker. It's tough at times, especially as it progresses more. You know, I'm very fortunate I still can breathe on my own and speak. And swallow. Now, Radicava, an infusion therapy developed out of a study in Japan, is the first drug in two decades to hit the U.S. How significant is this in the world of ALS? Uh, this is really significant in the world of ALS. It took us out of a 20 year slumber and really awakened us that there's potential cures out there. Neurologist Dr. Jonathan Katz says Radicava has shown promising signs in Japan, slowing the progression of ALS by 33 percent. The patients who received Radicava uh, had much slower progression than patients who received placebo. We added to the drug we already had, we can really make a big impact off the natural history of this disease. Trials were done on patients in the earliest stages, but the hope is anyone living with the disease can take it. The new drug is an infusion. The patients have to get 10 IV infusions per month. For ALS patients like Freeman, Radicava means more time and more life. I want to be able to hold my future grandkids someday, go on vacation with my kids. Since this has become available, Dr. Katz says that they're writing prescriptions like crazy, but he wants patients to be patient. A lot still needs to be worked out in the next few weeks. As far as the cost, Dr. Katz is hoping that insurance companies get on board and cover this infusion therapy. Well, it sure sounds promising because that is yeah. such a crippling, awful disease. Right. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, let's hope. Cross our fingers, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sharin.